Introducing first should be one half of the new Imagine Wrestling Tag Team Champions, ladies and gentlemen, Sweet Baby Trey. That's right, Sweet Baby Trey, one half of the tag team. It's hard to see. It's just, no, it's just Killer with a question mark. Oh, yeah, he just said he's going to rip his arm. Killer? Like that. Yeah, Killer with a question mark. And his opponent. He is the Enigma, Lucio DeVere. There he is. All my friends. For the friends of Lucio, this one's for you. It's going to do it for all the friends of Lucio. And, you know, he is the journeyman, uh, Lucio DeVere, and he says this title is quite meaningful to him. Yeah, just created. Very meaningful to him. I, I, think, I think it's more that he, he's trying to prove to not just himself but everybody else that he's not, you know, what he says he is here. Got the bell here. All right, well, here we go with the very first round of this tournament. And it is a 10-minute time limit. Michael Zeke, let's yes, not forget sir. they only have 10 yes. minutes to seal this up. Yeah, I happened to slip my mind, but all of these tournament matches relegated to a 10-minute time limit. Ooh, look, at now, that. look at that there, arm ringer. I'm not 100% sure what happens in the event that there'd be a time limit draw. I guess we will address that if it happens to happen. But for the meantime, all of these tournament matches will be 10-minute intervals for a chance to move on in the tournament to become the first ever Central Pennsylvania Imagine Wrestling Champion. That's right. I'd be amiss if I didn't mention flying tip hippie tie-dye. Yeah. Our good friend, Jimmy the High Flying Hippie, has been tie-dying since he came out of the womb, I swear. He tie-dyed the Blazetta and used the umbilical cord to accomplish that. That's how long he's been tie-dying. Go to flying hippie, uh, hi, hippie tie-dye. Get Facebook. yourself some garb. Yeah. Hit up Jimmy. Oh, what all your tie-dye toss. needs for the holidays. Look at Lucio DeVere now in firm control of the relatively newcomer. Yeah, another big scoop him. slam from Lucio DeVere. Looking around. And the senton! We know that's that's our chief executive officer, Kato's favorite move. Yeah, did he tell you that personally? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> in very, very colorful language. Yeah. Oh, there's Lucio a nice shot to the Just back like of the head. Just like the friends of Lucio. They all love Lucio. Big jump in the corner. Speaking of friends, let's not forget our friends over at Renewal by Anderson. Yeah. If you need window, patio door, entryway door, call Jordan Treason, 814-330-9870. Stop by our showroom at 487 Municipal Drive in Duncansville. Ooh. And that was our window of opportunity. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it wasn't. But big back elbow. That big window of opportunity that was just made by Lucio DeVere. Lucio has been oh. dominating. The absolutely dominant. Dominating the much bigger, much better shape, sweet baby oh, Trey. Yeah, for, this is impressive. For stating he was going to rip his arm off, he's oh. certainly not doing that at the moment. Precursor, another call. Oh, yeah. STO. Putting him down. Can he put him away? One, two. Referee John Williams S telling me just a two. The STO stands for the stinky turd odor. <laughs> Did you know that? I, you know exact, what? I always wondered what STO stood yep, for. Stinky turtle. You know, just like uh, the DDT. Very few know what the DDT stands for. Oh! Glad you could clear that up for me here yep, tonight, DC. It's very clear now. And then you got uh, Lucio oh. with a sidewalk slam, and he's dedicating this victory to the friends of Lucio, but not able to secure it on that pinfall cover. I mean, you're a tag team specialist, DC Bentley. It's no secret. What's your take on this whole situation? I mean,. Clearly, we know what has happened with you guys and the Rad Boys the last couple of weeks. But, I mean, you, you've been here. You know what's going on here. Lucio, hey, he just tried to pull his arm out of his yeah, pocket. He's making good on that uh, that threat. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, what a drop oh, kick. Sky high drop kick. Shades of just insane. Dude, he caught him right in the face. Yeah, there's a. What is What's this arm bar up? Oh, there's a, just a regular arm bar. He is going to rip his arm Facing off. Facing the opposite way. You know, you, you see a guy, a, a personality like the acquired taste, Mason Lawrence, very few times in wrestling. But when you do, they're always the type of characters that want to try to buy their way into yeah. something. And it seems very evident that that's what he's inclined to do. He's done it with the tag team titles. He uh, might very well do it his yeah. own way to the golden primrose path to the heavyweight yeah, title. We Lucio's don't know. getting his arm proverbially ripped out of the socket. But do you believe Lucio when he tells us? I mean, I'm inclined to believe him. But at the same time, this past Saturday, it was pretty damning evidence uh, what happened this past Saturday. Yeah. You can say it was a coincidence all you want, but, I mean, how many times is it a coincidence when it's happened multiple times? Yeah, I, well, 
I think uh, Lucio Devere is not nearly as aloof as he pretends to be. I mean, he's uh, been in the game for longer than 20 years. You don't get that level of tenure without some cunning, without some, you know, real uh, real mental faculties about yeah. you. And I, I, I don't believe that anything he does is not deliberate, to be honest with you. I had a, That's I, just my opinion, though. I had somebody tell me once that in order to be successful, sometimes you... Uh, might make some enemies along the way, and wow, you know, maybe that's maybe that's what's happening here. Wow, I'm look on. at this arm bar! Oh, oh look at the goodness. extension on that DC. Lucio, Lucio just arm you. bar. He is gonna hyper extend that yeah. elbow of Lucio De Beers. This might not, uh, might not, might not be the end yeah. of his, uh, you know, tenure in this tournament. It might be the end of his career if yeah. he hangs out in there with Trey much longer. Yeah, he fought out of that though. Referee John Williams in good position to make sure he was trying to count his shoulders down. Good refereeing there. That left arm of Lucio De Beers is gonna be ground into a fine powder. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see if he rips it out of the sock and beats him with it. Big chin breaker from Lucio Devere. I imagine if you hit that six to two, that twelve, to six, that mohawk's going right through your bottom chin. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, it's not only a, a fashion statement; it's also a weapon. Ooh. Those blunt blows right to the back of the elbow of Lucio Devere's. Yeah. I can't tell you guys or remind you guys. Members, well, oh, the there ropes. it is. Is he close? Too close to the ropes? He said. It, referee said he's broken the plane underneath the bottom rope. Five minutes have gone by. Remember, Five minutes remain. These are only ten, ten minute time limits. Yep, you got good. ten minutes yeah. to put your opponent away. As I said, that sweet baby Trey just kicked it into high gear here. Boy, if you ladies and gentlemen of the imagination haven't done it yet, please get down there and get your tickets for December the 14th Fan Appreciation Night. $10 seats. What a friggin' deal. Yeah. Oh! oh wow. wow! What a shoulder tackle! Right off the middle buckle. Do it. John Williams uh, doing his diligence to make sure that both shoulders are flush against the mat. You gotta give him credit. Meticulous with yeah, those details. Very meticulous. He, he needs to not get frustrated with himself or the referee. He's got to stay on top of Lucio Devere. He's been in this business for almost 20 years. You can't give him that kind oh, of opportunity, that no. window of opportunity. That's he, right. He, Bentley, he can't give it to him. Or he's going to take oh. it like that right there. Big boot in the corner of Lucio Devere. He's knocking the good looks right out of Trey. He's trying. He's a sexy guy, that Trey. I imagine a lot of pent-up aggression. Oh! Oh, what a close line. He is just knocking the snot out of sweet baby Trey. Trying to fire up. He's got a, a guttural yelp from uh, Lucio. He's going for the... Oh, well, that left arm still works for the wear. DC. Oh, the sling blade. Ah, even with the injured shoulder. The French Able. fried taters. Mm -hmm. Able to hit the sling blade, which is the precursor. Let's see if he can get him up for the Happy Valley driver with the way that shoulder is. Oh, 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 he can't grab struggling, it. DC. That left arm is powder. He cannot grab the head for that DVD. Trey with the ripcord clothesline misses. Oh, got him goozled. Gone for darkness. Oh, Falls. back no. elbow. Another back. Look at Trey's resilience oh. fighting out. Showing something to the veteran. Yeah, the enigma just getting clobbered on the side of the head. Oh, he caught him. This is it. That is darkness. Falls. Trey has got to be going. Three minutes. One, one, two, and three. three Lucio Devere advances in the tournament to determine the very first Imagine Wrestling Central Pennsylvania Champion. How about that, DC? First man to advance in the tournament. One, Lucio Devere, clearly happy with the results. I'm going to keep on going the whole way to the Central PA Championship.